This video is going to show you how to collaborate using a Google Doc. You can collaborate with any of the Google apps, whether it's Docs, Slides, Sheets, or Forms. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to collaborate in real time, how to leave comments, how to resolve comments, and how to tag someone in a comment so that they get a notification that they need to address something in the document or the file. So first we're going to go to shared with me and open the file that was shared with the student yesterday. Now, as soon as I logged in, you could see there are two colored cursors. There's a teal cursor at the top. And if I hover over that, it tells me who that is. And there's a pink cursor. If I hover down there, it tells me who that is. I can also tell who's using the document by looking in this top right hand corner and I can see the pictures and I can click on those or hover to see the person's information. Okay, so I now am able to type in this document if I choose. This person is doing problem solving around remote learning. And they said their problem is that they forget to do their daily reading. So someone else has already put in choice one and choice two for addressing that problem. So I'm gonna think of a third choice. If I keep forgetting to do my daily reading, what could I do? Well. They said they could set an alarm on their iPad or ask their mom. I'm going to say read as soon as I wake up. Okay, so I've added to the document. If someone else is currently working in the document, I might see them. You saw the cursor move right there and I can actually watch them type. Now they could be in my classroom with me or they could be across the city, or they could be across the world. This is the power of Google Drive and the apps and files in Google. So it looks like Piper was going to add a con to the choice of asking my mom to check my assignment list each day. Okay. So now you can see that multiple people can be working on a document at the same time. The next feature is the comment feature. Let's say um, Piper had made an error or left something out. So I might highlight and go up in the right corner and click this gray speech box and it says open comment history and I can click that and choose to leave a comment. It's going to say my name or the student's name and I can then type my comment in that blue outlined box. Once I hit comment it goes out to the side. Now the comment is available for everyone to view so someone could add to the comment and I can see that in real time that Piper responded to the comment. Now, if I had an idea, I could then type in that box and when I don't need this comment anymore, I can click the checkbox to resolve it and it goes away. If you ever need to go back and look at your comment history, you can click right up here and scroll through any comments that you've made on that document. The next thing you can do is if you want to assign someone something to do. Let's say if Piper was in charge of choice one, if Oliver was in charge of choice two, and let's say Chastity is in charge of choice three. I go up to that comment box, I click add a comment. I'm going to use the plus sign. And I'm going to type in a name of the person. Oh, let's see. There we go. Okay, it's going to add my email address, and then I can type my comment. gives me a little box to assign it to that person. And when I assign it, 
It says the assigned person will be notified and responsible for marking it as done. So now this person knows that this is their part to do. So those are the main pieces of collaborating with Google Docs. You can see who's in the document in the top right corner. You can see their cursors that are color coded to the color around their picture. And you can leave comments as well as tag specific people in a comment to make sure they know that they need to do that work.